Greetings folks, Two and Proper here bringing you yet another of my series. This is just a quick tip. One of the most efficient things you can do as a concealed carrier, and some of you are new at concealed carrying and you want to be able to practice, but maybe you don't have the money to go to the range all the time, or maybe you don't have the time to go to the range all the time. You can at least practice drawing from your concealed carry position and from your holster of choice with your weapon of choice. In my case, I'm going to practice here today with uh, Nate Squared's Professional Series holster right here and my P30 SK, since that's my new favorite gun. And uh, what you want to do, first of all, is you want to pick a spot on the wall, right? These are going to be your imaginary assailants. Pick a spot about that big. And first, with your hand, right, practice going like this, pointing with your finger. You can point with your finger. You can stand there and point at anything you want right? Practice pointing with your finger at your target, right? Then graduate to your weapon. Make sure your weapon is empty. Make sure your chamber is empty. Make sure your magazine is empty for safety's sake and don't do it again at a wall where you know that there's people on the other side, even if your weapon is empty, just for safety's sake. So then pick your spot on the wall and slowly draw your weapon and press, right? Now you notice I didn't fling I pressed, right? Pressed. Now do it slowly first. You don't have to do it quick. Press. And then reholster. Return your clothing. Look at your spot. And don't take your eyes off your spot, right? You want to be able to keep your eye on that spot because if you're looking down at your holster, this is a person you're practicing for. They can move. You might look up and be like, don't! <laughs> then they're already shooting you. So don't take your eyes off your spot. This is where the practice comes in. Press, right? Look at it again. Press. And after you do this, if you have any question as for whether or not your barrel was on, after you do your press, then look down your sights to see exactly how far you were off this target, right? Now remember, when you go for your CWP, they're going to require that from about four or five yards, you can hit an eight and a half by 11 inch sheet of paper. So if you're looking at a spot this big, you want to evaluate from your press or from pointing your finger because it's the same principle, whether or not you are on target. It's really easy. So you can do that at home, but it's just something that you can do to get more efficient at drawing your firearm. You go slower, press, be slow, it's not a quick draw competition. You're not going Yosemite Sam or anything. You want to be more efficient than fast. You want to be fast, you want to get faster at this. It's not a quick draw competition. So if you're trying to go like lightning fast to draw your weapon, chances are you're not going to be efficient with your first shot. You might be shooting up here, down here. You're going for efficiency. Where does the muzzle of your gun end up pointing at, right? Pretty good. So evaluate, let's do it again. That's a little sluggish. But that's what practice is for, right? Press, oh nice, that was good. Right, and that's what you do. And then you get a little quicker, All right? That was almost a fling, I almost did that too quick. Let's do it again. And then you could try it for moving positions, right? We're not going to do tactical reloads or anything like that. This is just efficiency and drawing your weapon. So it's a constant cycle of getting used to your holster, getting used to your weapon, and getting used to where you naturally point and being able to learn from your own muscle memory how quick you are to get on target and evaluate where the muzzle of your handgun is. That's one of the most important things you can do is to get good at efficiently drawing your weapon and pointing. And when you get good at that, always indexing your draw, then you can slowly practice at an approved range, down range, no longer in your home with live ammunition. One more time. And one more time. The whole idea is to get efficient at drawing your weapon using the weapon you want to use and using the holster you want to use. Do that and then you can graduate with other lessons from there. Thanks for watching folks. I'm Tuan Brown.